Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can use some advanced more features. So what I've got on the screen are two slides basically and a few blank slides, but the slide at the front which has got a circle, which I want to morph into a, a rectangle. Now at the moment, if I click into full screen, when I press enter, that will morph into a rectangle. If I do backspace, it morphs back into a circle. So that's what I want to show you how to do. And I'll show you what it would look like with, without um, setting this up as I have at the moment. So I just press escape on that. And I'll just get rid of this altogether. So I'll just go control A to select all the slides and delete. And then control M to get myself a new slide. So I want a couple of slides. Let's get three so it stays there. And actually I should have set those to blank for this just to get it out of the way. So I'll get rid of these ones, put them to blank. Like so. so on the first slide I'm going to insert the shape that I want, in this case a circle. So let's just sit it there. To get a perfect circle you just hold your shift key down and it will snap into a circle. So there's a circle. Then on the next slide, I'm going to insert a rectangle, rectangle, like so. So I want to morph this in. So normally you would just click onto the slide, um, go to transitions and select morph. And then if I put that into full screen, go onto the first screen first off. So circle, it just appears as a rectangle. There's no morph going on there. What you have to do is start on the top one. I've activated the selection pane so that is on the home tab and then you've got select and then you can activate the selection pane there. So it tells you what you've got on the screen so what we have to do is tell both of these shapes what the name is and you need to put two exclamation marks to do this enhanced morph and then give it a name which is not relevant it doesn't mean anything just needs to be the same name so I'm going to call that Steve and then I'm going to go onto this one and do exactly the same get rid of that call that Steve so now these two are sort of joined forever with the same name so if I click onto the slide and try that again go into full screen now when I press enter that morphs in and out quite nicely between the two shapes so that's how you can do what's called an enhanced morph by giving them a name. So they both have the same name. But just to recap, you must put those two exclamation marks in front of whatever you call it. And they both need to have the same name. So a very short video, but hopefully you found that useful. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.